People of YouTube, greetings and welcome to XCO Multiplayer 101 because it is episode 101. Today I'm going to be using somewhat of a silly squad. This is probably not something unusual that is happening here because this is mostly what I do. Um, this the squad is weird slash silly because there's a chrysalid in it and I know many of you love when I use chrysalids and I love using chrysalids myself so you know everyone's happy I guess um, especially the enemy who will probably be more likely to win uh, because there's a chrysalid in the squad um, I made so I try to maintain the balance between uh, the squad being actually kind of competitive slightly and that's why I have all these smoke jumpers because you know they are uh, as a, a, a great man once said, the bread and butter of uh, XCOM. And um, so there's the, that group that can kind of keep up the fight while uh, the crystal is kind of providing the cheese and sectoid is sort of there. So today, uh, in uh, these magnificent roles, we're going to have uh, Hakimaki Tuck as a sectoid, Alex Ui as a smoke jumper with. Um, the uh, chitin plating, and there's three of them. There's one and there's one, two, and three. So another one uh, like that is uh, Pladisker, and another one like that is Mikhail Mowinko. I, I'm hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, then um, Shuri Sakura one is going to be also a smoke jumper and also with chitin plating, but uh, additionally they're going to have a skeleton suit. And then Jim Dark Magic gets the um, special honor. Of being the crystalid because he's also the member of um, our other um, XCOM team, which is the XCOM Terror from the Deep, and he's one of the, um, I could say probably he's one of the main uh, team members there. Now let's see if we can uh, find the Lost Man Standing again, because that's what usually happens here. If we can find the game at all, no, it's someone else, but this name seems familiar. Let's take take a look here. Raise the volume. 48 hours. I think this is ideal for my chrysalid here. Um, it really seems familiar. Okay, so, uh, well, this is not too bad for a chrysalid, I guess. So, maybe this is too loud. Okay, cool. Um, Sactoid, I, I'm not sure I want to use him for uh, mine merging that much this, this, this game. So, I will probably... Just kind of throw him. Uh, I don't even know. Just throw him down there, maybe. Right. So, West Street is not the strong man. That's not the strong man. So, we're going to put you uh, over there. Probably should start kind of moving down this way as well. So, maybe put you, one of you guys over here. And the rest of you should probably move it down. Hmm. I don't really like starting on this side, you know. Okay, move down there. Uh, so you are the one who can run the most. And run the most you shall. So let's put you down there. And then we can take the chrysalid um, for the upcoming cheesing. Probably here, because I think that's going to make... I don't think many people actually go there. So I'm going to slightly risk it with the chrysalid, obviously. Um, because that isn't exactly a safe and hidden position for him, and for him to be successful, he needs to attack a uh, wounded unit, a wounded human unit, because that's the only way, obviously, a chrysalid can plant his seed, so to speak. Um, but I think I've guessed more or less correctly that... Yeah, the enemy is not going this way at all, I think they're all moving to the left. Uh, hopefully this is not going to be camping match. No, there's a third human going left. Three humans. And all going left. Okay. Oh, that doesn't sound very exciting, to be honest. Let's see what we get over here. Let's put the sectoid to good use. Make sure there's no one there. No, they're not. they're not moving this way at all. So we could go here, but that's only half cover. We could hide in full cover here, potentially. Um, we could provide smoke by someone else, but that's fine. I, I think this is going to be okay. Um, it's not going to be a big deal. 
Right, so we could what we could do now is we could move one of the guys over there and ask him kindly. I don't think they're gonna see us in inside the carriage over there, so we're gonna ask him kindly smoke this person in case he sees the enemy, he's gonna have additional minus twenty to their aim. Right, so that's all done. Um, now you sir. In case the enemy decides to move in any further down, we're going to have you overwatching over there. The chrysalid is going to probably, for the time being, hide over there. And I think I'm going to miss moving another unit, probably. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, didn't manage to do much with this guy, but that's fine. I don't really intend to attack this turn anyway. Let's see if the enemy actually moves out of there or decides to just overwatch. I think they, they're trying to move up this side, that way. Hmm, are they? Not sure. No, I think they're here, concentrating over here now. Okay. So no visual contact with the enemy, uh, which is always fun. All right, let's try. Yeah, let's try coming here, perhaps. And no one's there. Okay. So this guy could possibly start kind of overwatching here just to see if they are actually moving down that way. I hope this is not going to be a dash. Okay, it's not going to be a dash. Let's see who we're dealing with. Okay, we are dealing with mind shielded runner gunners. Fun times. Um, why is it 30? Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so what we need to do now is probably put down a lot of overwatch traps. Uh, as much as we can anyway. Okay, overwatch from there. I, can, I don't really need the chrysalid right now. Uh, overwatch. Probably from here. Oh, that was a dash. Damn. Okay, move the crystal over there. I don't think they'll be able to see me. Oh, they can see me from there. Ah, uh, this is a complete failure. Didn't really move anyone. This guy's been sitting there for two turns now. Well, let's see where they go anyway. Um, if they have mind shields, what are they? Are they actually having alloy cannons? Okay, it's alloy cannons. Um, I cannot really see them from there, can I? Okay, so this guy's gonna probably die from one turn. Oh, survived. Cool. So both of them are gonna have to come over there. So what I was gonna say is, uh, if they are all using alloy cannons and mine shields, uh, that means... Wow, why would you go there? Are you gonna shoot me from there? That is a strange move. I wonder if they're gonna kill my... Okay, so this one is a... a runner gunner as well. Okay, at least some overwatches are working. Um, so yeah, so they have no stims if they have um, mine shields, which is good. But not super good, because they're gonna kill my chrysalid, and my cheese has failed. <laughs> Aww. Poor chrysalid. He didn't deserve this fate. You didn't ask for it. Anyway. Um, right. So, funnily enough, this guy's alive. Over there. Can we use him as well? To sort of... Do that, kind of. 76, right? Okay, can we land 76? That should be possible. Very nice. Okay, now can we 
kill this person. Ah, amazing. And you thought alloy cannon and skeleton suit would save you. That's for killing my crystallid. That's what you get. Right, so. Move down here. See a guy. Shoot a guy in the face. And that's also for killing my chrysalid. No one fucks with my chrysalids. Um, so. Mighty old recon, how do you feel about dying from a sectoid? Bang bang. And this is probably why you shouldn't really have three recons in your team. Right, so uh, that's all good. But let's... Hmm, what would be best here? Let's come over here. I just overwatch from here. This this guy just did nothing all, all game. Um, this is pretty much game over. There's no way anything can be done here. I really feel bad about losing the Crystal Aiden as the first, um, and maybe even only casualty, that probably this person's gonna die as well. Just as a sort of a revenge kill happening there. Would really like to see a zombie. Haven't seen one in a long time, but that's okay. Alright, so we got two casualties then. That's fine. I'm just gonna move in and mow them down. Go, mighty uh, sectoid. Where no sectoid has gone before. Do you see him? 61, you say? Hmm. Why don't we do that? Hope you can... Oh, come on. That's just not fair. Okay, well, we're still not going to lose it, but... It's going to be a bit closer now than before. Can we not? Yeah, thank you. Right, take that shot. Nah. Could have won it probably that time when... Without losing... If I hadn't lost that uh, move. But that's okay. Can we see him? We cannot see him. Overwatch all around. Right, now let's see what your uh, alloy cannon is good for. If one of the overwatches lands, um, he's dead anyway. Well, that one didn't land. It's all up to the sectoid now. What is he doing? Oh, you're gonna make me chase you. Let's see where he is. Hmm, don't see him. Right. That's fine. Um. Where did he go? So you go over here. Maybe. Okay, so what we can do is we can come here and overwatch and then come here. Oh, come on. This is like third dash bug this turn, this game. Alright, let's see if we can catch him. If he plays super smartly, I guess he can win, technically, in theory. This still can be done. But not really. Ah, oh, he's just gonna <laughs> sit there overwatch. It's not fun. Let's find him. Go, boy, get him. And there goes your overwatch, buddy. Which is probably like 10% to hit now. And guess what? Let's suppress you. See if we can remove your cover that way. Uh-oh, your cover's gone. And move in. And GG. And death. Right, cool. So, somewhat anticlimactic. Um, match because we didn't manage to make uh, any zombies with the crystal, but that's okay. Um, 
that uh, you know that's XCOM baby as a certain organization would say in this place uh, in this instance um, thank you guys for watching before I leave you I wanted to remind those of you who may not have heard about this but maybe many of you have that um, 2k or I guess fire access rather is going to announce uh, XCOM enemy within which is going to be something XCOM uh, and they're going to announce it on the I think on 19th of August or 20th of August um, during the what's it called the expo in, in um, Köln I think it's in Köln I forgot what it is but it's one of the biggest in Europe at game expo I think it's called GameCon or GamesCon which is happening in Germany and they're going to announce during it um, this thing which is going to be something um, some people say it's a sequel some people say it's a DLC and I think it's um, TV series, but we will see about that. But anyhow, thank you guys for watching. Also, thank you very much for everyone uh, for your uh, congratulations and uh, well wishes uh, on in the comment section of the last video, which was the 100th um, episode of XCOM uh, multiplayer series. Thank you very much once more. Um, please, if you enjoyed this, uh, consider supporting this video in any way you can. I'll see you next time. Bye.